So let's talk about Chris Rock at the Oscars, right? So I kind of touched upon this like earlier today at like midnight or whatever, uh, talking about Chris Rock just a little bit. So let's get a little bit more in depth, right? Okay, so right off the bat, the positives, kind of Chris Rock did address in this diversity thing, was the monologue. I thought the monologue was actually good, and it did kind of address the problem, you know. Now, there were some uncomfortable jokes, like the shooting on the way here, and calling out Jada. That was also kind of, the, the Rihanna joke was kind of funny, but it was also kind of like off a bit. Now, granted, the monologue was good, but it slightly did kind of dip after that. There's one joke in the monologue that completely busts, and I feel like people didn't take account as to how unfunny it really was. He says... Welcome to, uh, you know, the Oscars, a.k.a. the White People Choice Awards. The People Choice Awards from every category, white, Asian, whatever you want to call it, um, it is not just a full-on white show, you know, particularly. So, by saying the White People Choice Awards, I don't know how that really makes any sense. It would have made more sense if he said the White BT Awards or something. That would have made more sense. Or the White Image Awards, maybe that would have made more sense. But particularly, this really didn't make any difference. Also, particularly, is that... As funny as it may seem, I really did not notice any difference in the crowd. Now, they talked about how black people, you know, they're boycotting or whatever. I should you not. Every year, I looked at kind of like last year's crowd and this year's crowd. It looked at almost the same to me. I, I really even noticed the lack of diversity there. There were still people there. It just wasn't anybody nominated. So, there, there really was no difference or change there. Now, granted, when Chris Rock is kind of stepping up and when he did some of these jokes, it did work out well. But some really did not go well at all. Particularly the Girl Scout thing. I think it was nice and admirable to kind of get his, he pimping out his daughter's, uh, you know, Girl Scouts or whatever. But it did kind of ruin the show a little bit because it did kind of feel like it just took the pacing out a bit. Now, granted, this show did kind of feel like it was going well, but it did kind of slow down a bit. Now, for Chris Rock addressing the diversity thing, I feel like he didn't do as well. Like for Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart was on the stage, right, and he had his moment. And I feel like Kevin Hart did a better job at addressing the situation almost in those few minutes than Chris Rock did in like a three hour and 40 minute show. Uh, that's just me personally. Now, Kevin Hart, I would love to see him actually host. Um, I just hope he doesn't kind of, like, half-ass it, kind of like Chris Rock. Because I feel like Chris Rock wanted to go far, but then he didn't want to go far. I feel like he was like, I can, the black people will be on my side no matter what. So I got to please more of this wider crowd, uh, just in general. Some things also didn't work, really, was obviously the bear. They did a bear thing, if you actually caught that thing. A bear in the audience, and that was stupid. Nobody cared. The Shug Knight stuff, I thought that was actually funny. Um, the Stacey Dash thing is where the biggest bullet fucking happened to the point where you just like, she comes out, they say, hey, the new person with like black heritage, whatever it may be. She comes out and everybody's like, oh, great. Yeah, Stacey Dash. You're like, that's funny. She's not here, right? But she is here. And then it kind of just becomes very awkward to the point where everybody's just like, wait a minute. Is that, is she, is, she, oh, whoa, what the hell? And then she does this weird things like, ah, and I'm like, this is uncomfortable to watch. And it really did not hit to the point where she just zoomed out of it uh, like a fucking roadrunner. Uh, and Chris Rock knew that shit bombed. It didn't work. Uh, look, Chris Rock was funny, but towards the end, he was just saying, and we're black, and we're whatever. It was just constant diversity jokes to the point where I was just like, dude, it's not even funny anymore. It's just starting to kind of drag to the point where you just like, just shut up. Um, you know, I was just like, yeah, you know, whatever it is. The Man of the Street segment, I thought was actually funny, but it was all, it was both a good and bad thing, right? I think the message got across showing that how black people or just diversity people and just in general really don't see most of these big movies. So, therefore, they should nominate more movies that people actually do see. Therefore, you can care more about the Oscars. But it also showed black people in a bad light and making them really look stupid by seeing, you know, Superfly and, you know, they don't even know any of these movies going around. It, it was just like, you, you really didn't help them out more. I feel like you, you fucking messed with them more. Uh, you didn't, you did not help this diversity thing. I feel like you fucked it up more. But Chris Rock did a good job at what he was supposed to do, which was to keep the show flowing fairly well. Now, granted, this thing, like, a lot of his jokes, as I said, they, they were funny. He says a joke to Sam Smith at the Sam Smith uh, performance, right? Went over everybody's head. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but it just went over everybody's head to the point where just like, yeah, this was okay. So, at the end of the day, when he kind of addressed the diversity thing, they didn't really come across as, you know, well, I don't know. You know, I thought it was okay. Like, saying that they just want equal roles, sure, that's great. And that's absolutely right. Not just black people, Asians, Hispanics, whatever it may be. And I think that's the problem. He had a big enough platform to kind of talk about the situation, but he did not talk about it in just a broader scope than just African Americans. Uh, you know, there's other races out there that deserve diversity. Even Alejandro Inarritu freaking said it. Um, but, yeah, that that's my thoughts really on Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock was okay. 
But at the end of the day, he just kind of half-assed it after the monologue. He just kind of did the constant, hey, black, 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 black. And it just became tiresome to the point where I was just like, three hours and 40 minutes. Great. That's awesome. Was Chris Rock really worth it? Nah, not really. Uh, he did his job, though. Uh, and I can't blame him for that. But that's my thoughts on Chris Rock's, uh, you know, diversity thing, uh, which didn't really come across that well. And I guarantee you, nobody ain't going to give a shit. But maybe they could take into account that, you know, uh, they do need to kind of branch out and do bitter, better movies uh, or movies that people more see. Therefore, you can get more interest in this Oscars. But, yes, that's my thing. Comment, subscribe, and like. We actually agree with my thoughts. And I'm Chris Smith, and I'm signing out.